<laughs> and you over there. Yeah. In my personal opinion, I think that um, UKIP support will fall in the general election when people start to focus on issues which affect them. Mm -hmm. So I, I live in Hammersmith and there's just been a stunning victory there from Labour in the council election mm -hmm. because they focus on the local NHS. And I think that when people read UKIP's last manifesto where they wanted to privatise large parts of the NHS, as a doctor who works in the NHS, I think the British public are going to reject that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They have, um... I'm, I'm sorry that again is misinformation. No, you, again, this is misinformation that's perpetuated by the establishment. We have never said we want to privatise the NHS. What we have said is we would like to streamline the NHS. Get you, there's 48% of people who work for the NHS who aren't clinically trained. Why, is, why aren't those resources targeted it, yeah. at doctors and nurses? But we don't I've need got to your talk about. In my no, but the, the manifesto of 2010 is dribble, according to Nigel <laughs> Farage. Yeah. I mean, he, he did actually say. I didn't read it, it was drivel. 486 <laughs> pages of drivel. This so, is honest. Yeah, we need to go into that. We need, it's the new manifesto, I suppose, we should be so the concentrating on. Me, the, thing Jay that keeps getting, the thing that keeps getting me about it is that everyone's going around saying, you keep have done so well. Um, but from, from what little I've, I know about it, I don't think they've done that well. I mean, only 30, 34 per cent of the people voted. Well, election is not well, doing well. Well, you're not, uh, no, you've got no MPs. Yeah. yeah, but we have... So you can't have done that one. I, but we just, we just want a national election, Jerry. We just want a national election. Do you honestly and think... Hang on, hang on, hang on Louise. Counselors. Do you honestly think... I listened when you spoke. Do you honestly think that 34% of, of those eligible to vote cared enough about what they were voting for to make a drastic change? Because for me, they didn't. The others didn't mobilise their vote. At least we did. We won the election. Oh, you won the election. You won uh, some seats in Europe, in the, in the European Parliament, that nobody really cares about. Well, they because should nobody care about, cared it. about voting for it. Well, they should care about well, it. Well, if you, have the, if you make the same traction, if you have the same traction in a general election, then I think people will sit up and take notice. I mean, obviously, the mainstream political parties are sitting up and take notice, but you all, all you represent to me as UKIP is the best of a bad bunch. So if I'm in a, if I'm somewhere and there was four really ugly girls, I'm thinking, well, she's, she's <laughs> oh, not dear, the oh, worst. Because that's all you are. That's all you are to us. That's all you are. I have to say, the ignorance just espoused well, by this gentleman you are, here, that's he basically fulfills the mission, doesn't he, that footballers' brains are in their feet. Well, because he's absolutely proved that well, to me tonight. Well, well, what maybe an offensive they do. thing to say, well, Mr. Well, Barton. Okay, well, maybe so, you do. Maybe you, know, you do. But I, all I I'm really saying is, you are framing your argument a little UKIP differently. You have not made the progress that everyone's professing. For Winning the national election is not making the progress. Thirty-four percent of those eligible to vote voted. Where were the other six? So if everyone cared, they voted generally for on a UKIP. general election, but they nobody voted for cares. UKIP. It okay. was a protest vote. That's all it was. All right. I call Don't it get democracy. too carried away with yourself. I get call it democracy.